Hey, this is a performance comparison between um, BIOS and UEFI booting. Um, up first is the standard BIOS boot. Um, once the second hand hits the 12 mark, I'll hit the button. Um, the boot takes about 20, uh, 30 seconds, I believe, to get into um, to get into the desktop. Um, overall, I'd have to say that the switch over to UEFI is a pain in the ass and quite frankly not worth it. Um, this video will probably just end up proving that point. Um, now that said, I will put up a video shortly on um, this or put up a guide on how to uh, actually get UEFI working on your ThinkPad. Um, <clears throat> here I'm doing a so the first test was just um, just to see the uh, boot speeds from a cold boot um, that's just powered off and this test here is the speed from a restart um, so a warm boot I suppose um, it's sort of not fair because this one has to do an additional shutdown um, this particular uh, cloned image has some of uh, my working applications in it, so it might take a little bit longer to boot and a little bit longer to shut down. Um, that said, uh, UEFI should then have an advantage, and you'll see that it actually doesn't really. Um, so here's the UEFI, and it's about to start. I haven't been really counting the um, seconds between the two, but I know they're kind of close, and that's why I made the video so you guys can count the seconds yourself. Um, uh, I don't know about you guys, but the whole reason I wanted to do this was because of um, various posts that people would put on the forums, and so I wanted a video, uh, I guess there was a demo of Lenovo's super fast UEFI boot so I thought I'd want to try that maybe bypass the whole um, BIOS posting time but um, it doesn't really do any good as you can see um, I started like a few seconds I think like one like two seconds late uh, with the restart here so just be mindful of that um, and that's pretty much it uh, I will uh, leave the video running so that you can count the seconds um, until it finishes up and I'm out. And kept going.